Well, tonight, 10 on your side is following up on flooding concerns in a Portsmouth neighborhood. Nearly one year ago, neighbors in the Bidoe subdivision reached out to us for help. Now they blamed the city for their flooding issues, but were not getting any response. So our Stephanie Harris talked to the mayor who said that it would be fixed. And Steph went back out today and found out there's still an issue. There is. It's really tricky. Yes, the city did go out there and they are working on a permanent fix to, and a solution to this. And residents are afraid, though, that it won't get fixed soon enough mm. before the next flood. While they wait for a permanent fix, residents want a Band-Aid, basically. They say the city can help with this, but it's not answering their concerns. Not much happens on this quiet court in Bidewee Manor. That is, until it rains. We've had water in our garage, like 12 inches of water. We lost cars in our driveway. This is what Karen Shackley's neighborhood looked like after Hurricane Matthew hit in 2016. Residents say this ditch is the devil behind it. Last fall, without a storm, it was full of water and the smell was wretched. That's when Ted on your side went to the city for answers. We found the problem. We can, we can fix it. And they did, just as the mayor said they would, but potential problems persist. Yeah, I took the smell away once they did that, but it had nothing to do the problem with our issue, it happened to just be at the same time, maybe, because our issue is still ongoing. In an email to Shackley two weeks ago, city manager Lydia Pettis Patton wrote, Currently, we have two studies underway dealing with infrastructure. We will combine the efforts of the two studies to identify priority projects addressing drainage and utility. And I appreciate that. I'm glad that's taking place. But in the meantime, we still have muck and guck. See it? There's about a foot, she says, of dirt, pine needles, and trash on top of the cement bottom. She's asked for crews to clear it so there's a good flow when it rains. I'm just frustrated, very frustrated. You know, I have other things that I can do besides worry about something that we pay our taxes for. Now, she has gotten no response on that request from the city, and neither have we. Dr. Pettis Patton did, however, email me this afternoon to say that the preliminary engineering report was submitted this week, and the survey for the basin is now complete. So she says both of them are under review, and the next steps will be determined next month. We will continue to press the city for answers on that maintenance request. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.